What's up, guys? Face Pomage here, or Pomage, or Austin, whatever floats your carrier boat. And this is a commentary, obviously. I'm talking to Mike. And um, what happens this game? Three V sets. Uh, and you know, I get a lot of kills. There's a nuclear, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. The score is pretty ridiculous, so the gameplay is pretty awesome. And the topic is pretty, uh, just a little personal, I guess. Um, I've been getting some, you know, no, no, no. I've always wanted to do this commentary because everyone sort of, like, kind of assumed that, you know, everything was good. Everything was really positive. Everything just went perfect on my way to YouTube. And to be honest, it didn't. Um, I first started doing the YouTube thing in grade nine. Uh, grade 9 Christmas, and, uh, you know, I simply just asked my grandmother for an HTP VR, and it took a little convincing, like I said in my, in the, what my parents think of this YouTube and gaming commentary, um, you know, when I first did it, some of my friends thought it was really cool, but actually it was, I guess, you know, my mom considered it a little bit of bullying, I guess, I don't know, um, <laughs> It started off, you know, it was just like that old Danny thing. I kept it on the down low. Um, one thing I do regret in the past, though, um, the first five videos I ever did, I remember posting them on Facebook. That was probably not a good idea. And, you know, when I first started doing this YouTube thing, my friends would always ask me, like, wow, you just staying and all that and all that. I got all of that. I, leg I, legit, set I legit got that we don't see you anymore. We don't, you know... You're just one of those no life gamers and all that. Like, there was a point where I honestly felt like I didn't really have any friends. Like, they were really not supportive. Um, there were very few, but the whole majority of them, I felt like I didn't have any friends. And over, like, that happened, this happened for a good, like, four months or so. And, you know, they said all this stuff because, you know, they wanted me to come out and do things but those were things I really didn't want to do they were kind of with sketchy people like I didn't know you know I was in biking I was just losing my interest in biking and all that but still the fact that my own friends now that I'm whatever with I'm fine with um, they really were not the best supportive friends that somebody could ask for and uh, you know it all kind of it's all kind of weird how everything just turned around as soon as I joined Optic. And, uh, you know, my friends were familiar with them. They knew about Optic Predator and Hex and Midnight and all those guys. And, you know, as soon as money was brought into the situation, they all literally just changed and wanted to be supportive. And I noticed that. I'm the type of person that notices those types of things that happen. And, you know, and knowing, and I remember those who, like, were really were pretty much assholes like at the beginning and you know they somehow want to be supportive now and you know I did have some people text me saying you know what I'm I just want to apologize you know for all like the things I said and did you know a year a t like a year and a, like a year ago like a year and a half ago and I just want to say I'm proud of you and I proved you and you proved me wrong I got quite a few of those messages, to be honest. Um, some of them were just recent, you know. It's it's odd enough knowing how, you know, they want to be not supportive and put you down at the beginning of it. And suddenly when you start becoming more successful or you start making, like, impacts or whatever, whatever it is, they just want to be supportive of it. And, you know, I'm not the type of person to hold a grudge but I don't hold grudges really but you know I remember what they did and you know it's still always gonna be there cuz it's kind of I guess it's kinda of messing with the head if you think about it um, I was not really happy with that kind of you know behavior of just wanting to hate and you know not really be supportive of a friend that's just doing a hobby and you know as soon as they start making something or they start getting big or whatever it is they want to be your friend and that I've had that happen to me and 
and uh, that wasn't the only part. It was at the beginning. It was probably about three or two or three more months in of me getting the PVR, and you know my uh, my mother and uh, my mother was actually you know pretty against it. Um, there was a time when she would not let me play and all that, and uh, there was times when she would just kick kick me out. Um, there was times when you know, like one of the times it was pretty bad. Um, I was I was just up in my room doing my own thing, and uh, you know I don't know what happened, but then she got really mad. I don't know, I, I forget what it was, but I'm not gonna dwell on this because you know it's all in the past, whatever. But she actually ended up moving all of my stuff downstairs. Like I have this huge honking desk here, you know. She made me move all the stuff downstairs, and I was I was really mad. Like this was all my stuff, and you know the stuff I worked for and like put my time into and she just wants to move it out of my personal privacy but you know <laughs> I mean that was a year ago right I'm not the person to hold back it's just I remember the entire story I don't forget but I don't hold a grudge if that makes any sense at all but you know things weren't really dandy um, I remember I was working at my summer job and I was telling all of them about it and you know they weren't really supportive either and then about a month into that uh, in grade 10, uh, I joined Optic, and then, you know, I said I started making money playing video games. And, you know, I say you know a lot, I'm sorry. Uh, they wanted to be my, f they wanted to be, like, supportive about it and talk about it now. Like, why, like, why wouldn't you want to talk to me about it, like, then? Like, I don't understand what's the difference if I make money from it or not. See, that's one thing about this that has really made me realize about people like money does change people and you know things they will change the people around you if you start like making an impact like on do, on doing bigger things like uh, that could be jealousy or that could just be I don't know I don't know what it could be it's just not I'm just not really okay with it but you know I'm not, I'm, I'm okay with all of them now it's just I know who did it but it's whatever you know Look where I am now, I guess, you know, <laughs> I'm satisfied with where I am. Like, everything happens for a reason, right? Um, maybe it took what happened with me sort of getting bullied, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's called bullying. That sounds more depressing and all that, right? <laughs> Just kidding. But, um, you know, maybe it takes them, maybe this was a life lesson for them. Um, maybe they, maybe it taught them to be more supportive in general, and that those people could accomplish some great, amazing things, and you know, make it farther. And <laughs> it's funny because uh, I remember, like, I had about three of them like message me on Facebook. It's like, oh, you're not gonna get anywhere with this. You're not ever gonna make money, and you're not ever gonna get a YouTube partnership, and all that. And they were pretty big dicks about it you know I just sort of ignored it I'm pretty sure pretty sure I one day I broke down and I freaking I think I bawled my eyes out once you know I'm, a, I'm an emotional person I can admit to that I am a very emotional person but I also have a very open mind and know what things are sort of acceptable to get emotional about like there's dumb things you know you really shouldn't dwell about but they're all experiences and you learn from every single one so that works on both sides but you know this is sort of just a commentary to let you guys know that everything was not perfect or whatever everything was not perfect and upbeat and you know good vibe all the time so I'm just this may hopefully this shed some light I did have a a struggle on uh, to get to where I am today so I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, you know, have a good day. I'm Baby Smosh, and I will see you guys later.